Hello friends, now in this segment we will discuss about how to find inverse Z transform using the second method that is called as partial fraction expansion method. Now all of us are aware about this uh, famous method that is a partial fraction expansion method. Now we will see the same concepts or we will apply the same method and we will try to find IZT that is nothing but X of N. Now in this question they asked us to find inverse Z transform of X of Z with three conditions. First, if ROC is greater than 1 by 2, if it is less than 1 by 4 and it is in between 1 by 2 to 1 by 4. So we'll first apply the partial fraction method and then we'll come across how to find or writing its X of n. So in the first step I'm writing apply partial fraction expansion. So we'll write this to XZ as 1 by 4 z inverse 1 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse is equals to a upon 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus b upon 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse we'll try to simplify this so this is 1 by 4 z inverse 1 minus 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse is equals to a into this term plus b into 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse now it is entirely divided by the same terms z inverse this will definitely get cancelled now to find a we know that b should be 0 similarly to find b a should be 0 so first we will try to find a so I am writing it here to find a now to find a b must be 0 now the b becomes 0 if this entire term is 0 that means we can find it by putting z inverse as 2 or if you do uh, if you want to know this value simply equate this term to 0 this becomes 1 is equals to 1 by 2 z inverse therefore z inverse becomes plus 2 so put z inverse is equals to plus 2 in above equation we will get this value 1 by 4 into 2 is equals to a into 1 by 4 into 2 plus b into definitely this term is 0 so this is 1 by 2 is equals to a into this is again 1 by 2 and the cross multiplication will be 1 by 2 so we will get this value as a is equals to 1 now similarly we will find b so I am writing it here to find b again a should be 0 that means I will equate 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse to 0 so this this term becomes 1 is equals to 1 upon 4 z inverse therefore z inverse becomes plus 4 so now again we will put those values in the given equation so we will get this term 1 by 4 into 4 is equals to a is now 0 plus b into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 4 so this 2 is 4 will get cancelled and we will get this term LHS is 1 b into 1 minus 2 that means b becomes minus 1 now we got that coefficients a as 1 and b is equals to minus 1 so if I put those values in the given equation here it is that equation so we'll get xz is equals to a is 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus b is minus 1 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse now uh, if you want to find its inverse z transform simply we'll use this equation already in previous lectures we have seen z transform of this relation or of this signal a into u of n z transform will be 1 upon 1 minus a into z inverse that means z inverse z transform of this identity becomes a raised to n into u of n now if you compare this with this given equation here the values of a are 1 by 2 and here it is 1 by 4 so i can find inverse z transform quite easily but before finding it <coughs> we have to find it for three terms as per the question is given first when z is greater than 1 by 2 now in first case i am writing if roc is greater than 1 by 2 now it is greater than 1 by 2 means definitely the system is causal or we can say that it is right sided sequence and if it is right sided sequence it should be 
always multiplied with u of n therefore we will write x of z's inverse is xn now inverse z transform of this term becomes 1 by 2 raised to n this is causal so it is u of n this one minus 1 by 4 raised to n into u of n now the system is causal in nature we will get x of n in this form that is 1 by 2 raised to n u of n and like this second case if mod z is less than 1 by 4 now if i compare these two pole points i am having these two pole points first is plus 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 now if i compare 1 by 2 with 1 by 4 definitely 1 by 4 is less than 1 by 2 so if it is less than 1 by 4 definitely it will be less than 1 by 2 that means the entire system in this case is anti-causal or we can say that it is left sided now if it is left sided we will write this term xn is equals to a raised to n remains same 1 upon 2 raised to n into now this is anti-causal or left sided so you will write this term as u of minus n minus 1 that means this is shifted by minus 1 unit so it should be left sided sequence similarly this becomes minus 1 by 4 raised to n u minus n into minus 1 so whenever a system is anti-causal it should have a multiplication as u of minus n minus 1 and if it is causal it will be u of n remaining terms the values of a now in third case it is given if mod z is greater than 1 by 2 less than 1 by 4 now if you see we can say that the system is both sided because roc should be greater than 1 by 2 and at the same time it should be less than that means it becomes both sided so first we will write xn is equal to so now if you see z is greater than 1 by 2 that means for this term system is causal and if z is less than 1 by 4 this side it becomes left side so i can write the terms related with 1 by 2 as 1 by 2 raised to n into u of n because it is greater than so it is right sided and this term minus 1 by 4 raised to n into u of minus n minus 1 because the pole point associated with 1 by 4 or the region of convergence associated with 1 by 4 is left sided and this is right sided so in this way one can easily find inverse z transform using partial fraction expansion method Now let us take one more example that is to find impulse response of the following difference equation. Now such kinds of examples will definitely be asked in the university examinations or in the examination for 6 or 7 marks. If you see this is a difference equation that relates uh, output with input and we have to find its impulse response. That means here we have to find h of n but finding h of n in time domain is quite, dip, uh, quite typical. Or we can say that it is quite a complex process hence we will first find its z transform as h of z and then we will convert it into h of n to find this we will apply z or we will try to find z transform of this equation so we can write y of n's z transform is y of z minus 3 upon 4 into y of n minus 1 this is shifted by one unit so by using time shifting property its z transform becomes z inverse into y of z plus 1 upon 8 now this is shifted by 2 units so this will be z raised to minus 2 into y z is equals to x of n z transform is x of z now we'll collect all y of z terms that will take as a common so this is 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2 is equals to x of z now next step we will divide y with z, y with x, this equation becomes 1 minus 3 upon 4 plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2. 
And as you know that the ratio of output by input simply indicates transfer function of the system or we can call it as h of z is equals to 1 by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2. Now we can find h of n by two ways. First, we can apply simply long division method or partial fraction method. But here, as the denominator can be factorized, we can see 1 by 8's factor can be found. Hence, we will apply partial fraction x function. So first, we will find factors of 1 by 8. So uh, we can write 1 by 8's factor as let first is 1 by 4 and second is 1 by 2. Now they should be added and with a minus sign so I can take both the terms as minus minus. So remember minus these two terms are negative that means their multiplication is positive and addition is minus 3 by 4. So we will get this equation as 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse. Now we will apply the partial fraction expansion so that this equation I am directly writing now this is a upon 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse plus p upon 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse or we will write this again in the same form this is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 into 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse now to find its uh, coefficients as a and b we will apply the same methods so we will get this term as uh, if I cross multiply, we will get a 1 minus 1 by 2 plus b 1 minus 1 by 4 is equals to 1 denom a denominator will get cancelled. So to find a, we will assume z inverse is equals to 4 by the same methods. If you put those values here, we will get this term as a into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 4 is equals to 1. So this will get cancelled and will get a is equals to minus 1. Similarly, to find b, we can assume z inverse <coughs> is equals to 2. So this term 0 plus b into 1 minus 1 by 4 into 2 is equals to 1. So this becomes 1 minus 1 by 2 is equals to 1. So this value definitely will be this is 2 minus 1 1 by 2 that is 2 that means b becomes 2 and a is minus 1 now if i put those values in this equation we will get hz is equals to minus 1 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 2 upon 1 minus 1 by 2 into z inverse now we'll apply its inverse or we'll find its inverse z transform now remember in different situation they will not give us any region of convergence that means by default we have to assume this is a right sided sequence. So if it is a right sided sequence you can find it a raised to n u of n z transform will be 1 upon 1 minus a z inverse. So by using this relation I am writing z transform of this minus 1 as it is into here the value of a is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 raised to n u of n plus 2 into 1 by 2 raised to n into u of n. So this is the impulse response as h of n. So by this method you can find impulse response of the difference equation. Thank you.